Hey guys, how's the crawfish over here? Good. Everything tasting great? Good. Great, thank you. Grew up in Rain, Louisiana. I'm right on this side of Lafayette, and crawfish has been in my blood for many years, so it was a perfect fit. It's a Louisiana tradition, but it spread to Texas. It's very, very popular across the Houston area. Best crawfish in Texas. Crawfish, crawdads, mud bugs. It doesn't really matter what you call them because when the right time of year rolls around, it's really only about where to find them. And in Crosby, there's a place packed with people cracking open crawfish. This has got to be the busiest restaurant in the state of Texas, is it? For crawfish, yes sir, it is. Started 14 years ago as just a little drive through We were actually the first crawfish to go in all of Harris County. Had two tables the second year, four tables the third year, and now we have 61 tables that are packed every day. For owner Dan Moe, packed tables have become normal at the Crawfish Shack. Known for selling around 6,000 pounds a day, some folks say there are more crawfish cooked here than any other boiling pot in the state. What's the biggest crowd you've ever seen waiting outside? Mm, over 200. Waiting to get in? Yes, sir. Well, they wrap around the building into the back fence, and it's pretty exciting, depending on the time of the year. What is it about crawfish? I mean, this is more than just getting something to eat. This isn't like, oh, I'm gonna go get a burger. It's definitely not your typical going out to dinner. Uh, people come here to have a good time, to unwind. Um, it's, a, it's a family atmosphere, but it's also very festive. For all the people that are watching out there, maybe people that haven't ever even had crawfish, when's the season? So it's the first six months of the year. You can get crawfish in November and December, but they're very, very small and very expensive. We usually open up about mid-January, and our restaurant dine-in is open to the end of May. After spending months in a state of inactivity, the crawfish are harvested and brought to places like the Crawfish Shack, where after being cleaned twice over, each tray full of Cajun crustaceans goes out to another happy customer. But there is no rule book to crawfish consumption, and there are several ways to go about it. Dan says it may all come down to where you're from. I'm not the greatest in the world at doing this. Show us how to peel a crawfish. Okay. You take the crawfish, you break it apart from the head. If the fat doesn't come out on the tail, you gotta suck it out. That's where all the flavor is. And you break the top two rings of the crawfish, you peel it, and you have a nice piece of meat right there. If you really are an authentic crawfish eater or if you really want the full flavor of the crawfish, the fat in the head is, is full of flavor. It's, it's a natural buttery flavor. And if it doesn't come out on the tail, you can bite the head and get it out or you can stick your finger in there and get it out, but you definitely want to get that yellow fat content. Do a lot of people do that? I would say in the Texas area, probably 40%. Louisiana area, about 90%. Wow. Right. What you're telling me is Louisiana people suck more than Texas people. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> At yeah. least I got you to admit Yes, that. sir, that is correct. Well, after learning from the master, we decided to put our skills to the test by having Kelly and our producer, Quentin, who each claim they can eat more crawfish than anyone else, have a good old-fashioned crawfish eating contest. Go! Well, you can't win them all, but you can eat as much as you want and have a good time doing it. Because here at the Crawfish Shack, you're having more than a meal. You're having an experience. And that's what Dan says it's all about. Why do you love this so much? It's just a very fun, happy atmosphere. And I love the, the crazy busyness, having a packed house and people waiting to get inside. You feel like you're almost in a backyard party. So it's, it's people come here for the, the great food, but also for the great atmosphere. 
That's what I love. The winner!